So here are a micro cassette player recorder, and this is an old dictaphone answering machine. Um, I believe it's an answering machine. I would assume it is. I don't know. Maybe it isn't an answering machine. Anyway, whatever the case, um, I'm using it. I bought this at Google a few years ago, and I'm using it as a um, tape player because it sounds better than the uh, mini cassette, micro cassette player. And um, this one's from GE. Um, yeah. There's your model number. Um, but yeah, I've had this for quite some time. As you can see, it's beat to hell, but it still works great. As I say, it's from GE. It's, uh, obviously these are mono machines. There's the head. <clears throat> I don't ever, I've never seen a micro cassette player that's stereo, unless you have those really high end machines. And I think um, YouTube user Techmoan did one of those a couple years back. Um, then they actually have boomboxes with a micro cassette player on them, but those are hard to come by. This one as well. I believe that one is, uh, yeah, you can't see it too well, but it's a mono head as well. But yeah, um, when I got this, it didn't come with the power cord, so I have one of those universal adapters, and this thing requires. 16 volts DC and the highest I can supply for it is 12 volts But it seems to not affect functionality and so yeah This little lever right here detects when the tape is inserted And then that black well, let me put the flashlight on that black one back there Tells it when there's a tab in so you can erase it we got the volume, tone, auto backspace, and speed. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this was used for, because if it was an answering machine, I would think there'd be a telephone line to it, but that's for a foot control. And that's a headset thingy. So I don't know, but did get it a while ago. And that's what's funny is, I think this tape? Yeah. There's, see how that has a notch in it, but it's like, yeah, this one's broken at this end, as you can see. So when I put it in the machine, this machine, because everything's automatic, it doesn't see there's a tape in there, because that piece is broken. But it does on this side, because that piece isn't broken, but there's nothing on that side of the tape anyway. Um, but yeah, I got a hunch, a bunch of, uh, mini cassettes, micro cassettes, sorry. That's a mini cassette right there. It's different. And I got that recorder somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't even know what's on half of these. <laughs> Apparently it thinks it's at the end. And it's not. It's because there's so much slack on the thing. It the other spool isn't spinning, so it thinks there's no tape in it. Because the video they did sucked to begin with. That's and tape speed is there. Speaker on and off. So that's wicked slow normal then speaker on and off oops and I hit the power because it just sits in there like a piece of crap I can hear a song playing in the background. Well, can't actually play that now, can I? <laughs> so that tape that won't be detected because of that broken piece. Obviously, it's going to work in the micro in this little player because everything's manual. Oh, 
All I can hear is mouse pad clickings and I don't know what's on this tape. Let me fast forward a little bit. Just a lot of nothing. Not too much. Oh my god, that's Joe Mama. That's a friggin' thing online that was years ago. I just heard. <laughs> oh my god, but I have so many. Uh, yeah, so. Hey, I heard San Andreas. CJ. At least I, the belts are intact on this machine. I, don't know, I didn't have to open it up or anything. It's kind of cool to hear, listen back on friggin' things this old. Now why the hell did that stop? I have no idea what's going on on these tapes. Actually, yeah, turn around. Uh, this one's a Radio Shack 20 minute, so 10 minutes per side. There's a lot of slack on this one, so let me rewind it. Cut music. That's funny. Another Sony. This one's an MC30. The other two were MC90s. Oh, Jesus. Celebrity Jeopardy. Welcome back to Celebrity Jeopardy. We've got quite a contest going on here. Let's take a look at the scores. Sean Connery is in second place. <laughs> $6,500. Only on account of villainy. Great. Any driver is in first with a commanding score of zero. Um, what is history? We haven't started playing yet. <laughs> and finally, Jeff Goldblum with an incredible negative $17,800. Oh my god, this, that, that's funny. my lucky day. I'll take the rapists for 200. <laughs> That's therapist. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's funny. All right. Well, the video's long enough. And uh, so, yeah, that's just, yeah, that's awesome. All right. Later.